this is Blue View back here with another video and today's video we have a huge Blu-ray haul. I don't know how many titles we've got but it could potentially be as big as that one I um, showed you in I believe the half term break or I can't even remember how many titles I got but it was way too many and this one I've got way too many but before I get into that I just want to give a few announcements first of all obviously coronavirus is going to impact my channel I think I'm not going to have my mate of one Blu-ray hunting video in the next few weeks, potentially months, obviously, because of the coronavirus. I believe the UK will probably go into lockdown in the next few days. I've got something I need to pick up at HMV, so I'll probably go and get that. I'll be in and out very quickly. And considering my dad has asthma and a few other minor problems, obviously, if he gets it, you, the chances are he'll be fine. But, you know, it's better to be safe than sorry, so I will probably will be limiting how much I go out. And obviously, the government's advice is really only go out when you need to go out. And as much as I love going blurry hunting, it's not, you know, something I need to do. Everything I buy on HMV is online. I just do love going and supporting HMV, going to CX and going pan and showing you guys what's new in the shops. But that may not be happening for the next few um, next few weeks as, and again, potentially months. I have no clue what's going to happen. So I'll be making sort of blurry haul videos, movie reviews. I'll be doing list videos. I do have loads of lists I want to I do. And I'll maybe start some mini series. I have no clue, but... I may be here until September, who knows, so I've got a lot of time on my hands, I've got a lot of work to do, but yeah, that's that announcement out the way, um, and the second announcement is just to a message to you guys during this, you know, it is a really hard time for, I think, everyone in the world, coronavirus is a very scary thing, and while maybe it's not the most deadly disease in terms of if you get it, the chances are you're going to live, obviously, if you've got a terminal illness, or if you're, you know, very, very old, that is different, but for most people in the world, it's not that big of a problem. But I still do think we need to work together. And I'm sure everyone watching this video is doing their bit as well. But we need to work together. You know, don't bulk buy. If you know anyone who's bulk buying, just tell them to stop. Because it really is a, a horrible thing. Because it is really making a lot of people even more vulnerable. I just think um, Great Britain is so good at coming together in these but sort of bad times. And I feel like this time we need to come together. Like we did in the Manchester terror attacks. We all came together. Um, so definitely come together now. Obviously, it's scary. I am personally scared. It is not a nice thing not being able to go outside much, but it's, it's how it is. It's how the world works. So yeah, that's that. And now uh, I'm, I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing about the coronavirus, and you want to me show you show, show you some Blu-rays I picked up, and that's what we came here for. So let's get into the Blu-rays. Start off with the ones that I took out of the packages because the packages were like uh, really horrible. And then I've got some ones I just slit it open. I don't know what's in them. First one. This is England 68. I've only watched a few episodes of the This is England series and it is absolutely incredible. Sean, Sean Meadows is amazing. He was amazing in The Irishman. He's amazing in basically every film he's in. And this looks no different. I've heard lots of good things about this one. A lot of people consider it to be one of the best British shows. So that's that. So that is This is England 86. And carrying on the theme of This is England, I also got 88 as well. I didn't get 90. 90 is quite expensive. So I'm going to have to, if you see it in a charity shop or anything. Let me know because I'm very keen to get that. But yeah, this is England 88. And also, I believe this is the, the movie as well. This was like £2 as well. So it wasn't that expensive. But really look forward to watching this one. I do love watching sort of British dramas. I do love American dramas as well. Obviously, Netflix is bringing out some amazing American dramas. But I do love my um, English dramas. And obviously, you know, this is such an apparent topic for our country and it was, yeah, it looks very, very interesting. So that is, this is England. Next one of Jack Nicholson, a movie that I've been dying to pick up for so long. Winner of five Academy Awards in 1975. One who flew over the cuckoo's nest. Look forward to this one. I've heard non-stop things about it. Just the regular Blu-ray. Those are all just the regular Blu-rays, just single disc. Yeah, that's one who flew over the cuckoo's nest. Next one is a David Fincher movie. I'm trying to complete my David Fincher filmography. I think there's only Panic Room's the only one I don't have on Blu-ray, and I don't think I got a UK Blu-ray release. Um, this is the Curious Case of Benjamin Button. I remember starting this movie and actually turning it off because I didn't like it, but I'm going to give it another go. It won three Academy Awards. It's got great reviews. It's got a great cast, like Brad Pitt and, and, and Kate Blanchett. So looking forward to that. That is the Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Next one is a movie that I've not watched. I've heard it's one of the best movies of all time, and that is Citizen Kane, Orson Welles. I know Mank, later on this year, is actually a David Fincher movie, 
about, I believe, the making of Citizen Kane starring Gary Oldman, and that's going to be a Netflix movie, I believe. But this looks great. I'm looking forward to watching it. I love that cover as well. And also, I do like that disc artwork as well. It's not really artwork, kind of just blue disc, but a nice logo. Looks really nice. So that is Citizen Kane. Love that cover. I love the sort of like retro covers on like really old movies. It's just such lovely artwork. Next one, a Tom Cruise movie, and that is The Last Samurai. I love the soundtrack for this movie. movie. I believe Hans Zimmer did it. I'm not 100% but right. It's a really good soundtrack. But yeah, The Last Samurai with Tom Cruise. Just the regular Blu-ray. And yeah, it looks really, really, really good. I've heard mixing some critics, but movie fans I know tend to really, really love this movie. So very, very, very happy with it. Next pickup we did get was The Usual Suspects, a Brian Singer movie. I have heard non-stop good things about this movie. This is actually one of my dad's favourite movies, The Usual Suspects. I believe it's a Brian Singer movie. The only really Brian Singer movies I've watched are X-Men Apocalypse, X-Men Days of Future Past. And the, if, I don't know if he did any, any, any of the other X-Men movies, but yeah. This one looks great. I do love my sort of gangster movies. I believe this is a British gangster movie. I may be wrong, but I love Snatch. I love Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. I really want to watch The Gentleman. There's a load of other British gang movies that I do love. So definitely look forward to The Usual Suspects. Next one, Coen Brothers movie. Just like I'm doing with David Fincher, I'm trying to complete my Coen Brothers um, filmography. And this one is Barton Fink. I don't know anything about the movie. I've heard really good things. My favourite Coen Brothers film or films, I can't really decide, it's, it's either Fargo or Inside Lewin Davis, it's, it's tied between those two, I love those two movies so, so, so much, but yeah, look forward to watching that, next one, another director's filmography I want to complete is Bong Joon-ho, and I'm one step closer, by Mother, I'm, I've only watched Parasite of his movies, I'm definitely going to watch The Host, obviously now I've got Mother, he's also done that Netflix movie Okja, I can watch that obviously easily accessible since it's, it's on Netflix. But yeah, Mother, look forward to watching this one. I don't know if it's had a UK Blu release before Parasite, but it's got one now. And obviously, Memories of Murder, I do want to pick up once I get to a Blu, Blu ray release this year. But yeah, Mother, very happy with that. Next one is an A24 movie. It won three Academy Awards, including Best, including Best Picture, and was include and, and was actually part of one of the I think the worst Oscar mix-up in history. Obviously, won La La Land won Best Picture, and then it was all, and then the mantle was handed to this movie, and that is no other than Moonlight. I'm very 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 look forward to watching this one. I watched it a few years back. I remember really really liking it, but. For some reason, Barry Jenkins movie, I never, Barry Jenkins movies, I never pay them full attention on the first watch. I've watched If Beale Street Could Talk once, and I've watched this once. And for some reason, I don't remember this movie that well. And it's weird because I just don't think I was in the mood for it the day. But, you know, sometimes you watch films you're not in the mood for, so you don't like them as much as you should have. And I'm definitely going to watch this one again because I do definitely think I'm, I definitely think I'm going to like it more than I did the first time. And could even be one of my favourite movies of all time. It's an A24 movie, so can't go wrong with that. Definitely, definitely, definitely look forward to watching this one again. Lovely slipcover, lovely like sort of gloss on the face there. And just the regular blue inside. But yeah, that is Moonlight with a lovely spine as well. Really good condition slipcover. Last one that's been opened, and this is actually a Criterion. Another director's filmography I do want to complete. He is in my top three favourite directors of all time is Martin Scorsese and this is the criterion of Age of Innocence. The Age of Innocence. Beautiful cover. And I don't say that much. I think loads of Blu-rays have pretty bad covers but that is beautiful. I've not watched the movie either. There you go. Inside you've got, as you do with most criteria, you've got the booklet and then you've got the disc. Absolutely amazing. I ended up paying like, I think it was 16 for this, but it usually goes for like 25 online. So very happy with that. And as you can see, obviously a criterion. Yeah, look forward to watching that. So now we're going to get into all the packages. I have slitted them all open, as you can see, but I've actually not looked inside any of them. But yeah, let's get into this. So first one is actually an HMV premium collection. That was £5 on eBay. I think it's a Steven Sorkerberg movie. Yep, it is. And that is Sex, Lies and Videotape. 
This one comes with on Blu um, this is the first time on Blu ray. It's Blu ray DVD di digital download and an exclusive art cards, as you can see. Nice cover. I've heard very good things about this movie. Obviously, exclusive to HMV. I do love my premium collections, as you can see. I've got a nice little collection going. And yeah, look forward to watching that and couldn't pass it up at £5. Next one is something I'm not. I'm not sure really about this. I don't know the film at all. It won Best Foreign Language Movie in 2017. I don't know if I'm going to like it. I don't know if I'm going to dislike it. I'd never even heard of it before I came across it on eBay. So I don't know what I don't know anything about it. But that is a salesman, as you can see, Best Foreign Language winner 2017. It's a Curzon release. It's on loads of awards. But yeah, I'm trying to get into more international movies. Obviously, you know. Down to the success of Parasite, I'm sure, you know, Korean movies are doing very well. But also, not just Korean movies, movies from around the world. And this one looks no different. I'm really looking forward to it. Also, it's a thin Blu-ray case. So, I do like my thin Blu-ray cases. Next one, we did get a slip cover Blu-ray. Oh, yeah, this is this is one I'm very happy with. One of my favourite animated movies as a kid. Um, I don't know if it's directed by Steven Spielberg or produced by him. I can't quite remember. But it is the Iron Giant with lovely um, Warner Bros. classics slipcover. But I mean, oh my god. Beautiful, beautiful Blu ray. Just the regular Blu ray inside. But I love these slipcovers. This was, I think, four ninety nine, so not too dear. And it is actually one of my favourite animated movies. As a kid, I had the VHS of this movie. And I've literally watched it probably a hundred times. But it is just such a beautiful movie. And I need to watch it again. And I could not wait to see. The quality of the Blu-ray. I don't know if it's a good transfer. I don't know if this one has a 4K. It may do, but I'm very happy with the Blu-ray. Next one we did pick up is a Sofia Coppola movie. Now, I believe there's a new Sofia Coppola movie this year. I can't remember the name, but it stars, I think, Bill Murray. So I'm looking forward to that. But this is a Sofia Coppola movie, I believe, from 2017. And it's The Beguiled. Beguiled or something. The Beguiled. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But I've watched Lost in Translation and I absolutely love that movie. Obviously the daughter of Francis Ford Coppola, one of the best filmmakers of all time, who I believe is, you know, made good movies after The Godfather. I know a lot of people don't think he did. Um, I personally believe The Rainmaker is one of his best films. Obviously The Godfather Part 1 and 2 and Apocalypse Now are probably his best, but I thought Dracula was quite good. I did watch that one quite recently and I also thought The Rainmaker is his fourth best movie probably, or even third maybe. I may like it's more than Apocalypse Now. I'm sorry. I do love Apocalypse Now. They're both incredible films, but I'm not sure. But yeah, looking forward to watching this one. It won Best um, Director at Cannes, so that's great. Great cast. Colin Farrell and Nicole Kidman. Kirsten Dunst and, and Ellie Fanning. So yeah, look forward to watching this. Some good reviews on it as well, so look, look forward to that. Next one we did get was... It's actually a movie I wanted to watch because of my religious studies at school. So basically, in religious studies, we are studying whistleblowers. Obviously, they're basically, if you don't know, they're, they're people who basically, in in the history, have basically baited out their, their company. Uh, maybe because their company was ethically really bad. So this one is about Joseph Gordon-Levitt. And he, I won't say anything, I don't want to spoil the movie or anything, but I'll leave it at that. But basically, a whistleblower is something... Someone who gives away information about a company, maybe financial information, maybe ethical information. So there are possibly could be whistleblowers for Apple, because obviously we all know that Apple exploit, you know, um, sort of low income countries. And so do loads of other companies. Obviously, Nike probably do. We all fall into the trap. But yeah, Snowden, look forward to watching this one. I love my thrillers. Joseph Gordon-Levitt is a great actor, so look forward to that. Next one is a Spike Lee movie. I only own Inside Man, I believe, so I'd need to get Black Handsman, um, or there's um, what are his other movies, I can't remember any of those other films, um, Do the Right Thing also, but yeah, this is Malcolm X with Denzel Washington, a great slip, um, great cover, sorry, just the regular Blu-ray inside, nice, nice disc artwork, Denzel Washington, Denzel Washington is in my top five current actors, so cannot wait to watch that. Next one we did get... Uh, I've actually requested a partial refund for this one, and I did actually pick up The Witch. 
reason I've requested a refund is because I've got an Italian coffee. Whereas I was promised to get an English coffee. Obviously, it's not that big of a deal, but I'd rather have an English coffee than an Italian coffee. So I may send it back or something. I'm not sure. But basically, in the picture, it was an English Blu-ray with a slipcover. And then I got this. So it's very thin. I mean, it's thinner than the American Blu-ray. So I'm not too happy with it, really. But yeah, we'll just see what happens there. But The Witch, Roger Edgar's first movie. It's another A24 movie. And I cannot wait to watch it because Lighthouse is my favourite movie of the year so far and one of my favourite movies of all time. That's that. Two World of Books pickups. First one is an A24 movie and that is Ex Machina. Need to watch this film. I've heard just too many things, too many good things about it. I've heard the CGI is some of the best CGI in film history. Next one is... Who directed this? James Mangold. Or was she director of last year's Ford v Ferrari or Le Mans 66 if you live in the UK? Directed loads of other movies and obviously tipped to direct the new Indiana Jones movie. But this is 310 to Yuma. So I'm very happy with this one. I've heard great things. Russell Crowe, Christian Bale. So I look forward to that. Wasn't too expensive, so very happy with that. Four more. These are two, two movies that I'm also very into watching. First one is Carol. I heard great things about this. I think it's one of the Oscars as well. But yeah, look forward to watching that. That's Carol. And also Silver Linings with um, Bradley Cooper and Jennifer Lawrence and Robert De Niro as well. So And Chris Tucker. So it's a comedy. I'm not too into my romantic comedies, but I've just heard so many good things about this one that I need to watch it. And it also won an Oscar for, Je for Jennifer Lawrence, so look forward to that. It's got won loads of awards as well. It won, loads of awards. it won a BAFTA and a Golden Globe. Lovely. Final two Blu-rays. First one is Lock with Tom Hardy. I do have the DVD on this one, of this one, so I'm happy to upgrade to a Blu-ray. Great movie. One of the best sort of... It re reminds me of 12 Angry Men in a way, because obviously in 12 Angry Men, they're in the room for the whole film. In this one, he's in a car for the whole movie. And it's an absolutely incredible movie. And one of Tom Hardy's best performances. Amazing what you can do to sit in the car. Final one is another Coen Brothers, no, another Coen Brothers movie. And this is Miller's Crossing. I have no clue about this movie. I hadn't even heard of it before I searched their filmography. So yeah, look forward to watching that. So guys, those are all my Blu-ray pickups. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to leave a like, I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you could subscribe. I tried to go through those quite quickly since I don't want to bore you with me talking about each and every Blu-ray. But I'll try and pick up the stack. There you go. There's a stack of Blu-rays. Look at that. That is beautiful. So I have to put those into my collection. Put them over there for now. So thanks for watching, guys. If you want to leave a like, I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you could subscribe, that'd be great more videos in the next few days i don't know what i'm going to be doing as i've already said but yeah thanks for watching leave a like also subscribe and i'll see you in the next video